here. You must mean Mr. Williams. Are you sure you're qualified enough for this job interview? It's not like English is pretty language to learn. I still hate tin sounding words. Oh my, you seem a little worked up. Why don't you sit down for a little? Mrs. Lopez? Yo soy. I mean, I am her. Where are you from originally? I come from Puerto Rico, but I am an American citizen. Funny, you don't seem like one. When did you move to the U.S.? Are these questions that you ask all of your interviews? Where did you learn to speak English? I taught me and my five niños. I mean children. Well, that wraps it up. Thank you for your time. That can't be the end of the interview. You only ask questions about my race and language. Unfortunately, I just don't think you are qualified for this position. So to say your word choice, accent, and lack of ability to speak English is not what we are looking for in this job. No speak English. I speak English. Not well, but that won't be an issue in the job of running errands. Sorry, I just think you should look for a job elsewhere. Maybe in a more Latin American setting. Good day, Mrs. Lopez. Hey, Rafael, you want to come to the soccer tryouts with us? Oh, man, that sounds good. I, I'd love to, but, you know, I really got to get back to my house. I have some things to tend to. Come on, you never do anything with us anymore, and you always have an excuse to go home. What's holding you back? I just really got to get home. What's in that house of yours? Hey, you there. I put another bottle in your locker. Your payments are adding up. I'm just a little bit behind. I need that money for food and clothes. It's not my fault you're so hooked on the drink. Can you make it a priority over food and clothes? I can't do anything anymore because I just come home to stupid things like you. Every time, every day, I come home just for this bottle. first period class? Or maybe it was my first period class. Either way, the whole school knows. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Stop acting dumb. You can't keep acting like such a good girl when the whole school knows all of your secrets. I mean, look what you're wearing. I just like this outfit. I didn't even think it was that revealing. <laughs> maybe not compared to what you wore yesterday. I mean, why try to keep your stories a secret if you're not even going to keep your body a secret? <laughs> Cheryl, I told you, those stories aren't true. You need to grow up and stop believing all the gossip you hear. Oh my gosh, are you seriously lecturing me wearing that? I think I need to go home. Do you really want your father to know you dress like that at school? <laughs> Cheryl, I'm not kidding, let me go. Which boy is it gonna be today, Sally? I just need on to go home. <laughs> oh, just wait, you'll pay for that, you little flirt. Oh, Sally, I'm so glad you finally realized what's best for you. No young girl should be wearing that much makeup. It's just inappropriate. Hi, how was work? I know what time it is. Of course you do. I'm sorry, it wasn't my place. Can you make yourself useful and get me another drink? Yes, dear. Do you need anything else? I need you to get me a drink before I'm dead. Right away, dear.
Minnie, what's this? What's what, dear? What's written in this notebook? Are these songs? Well, yes. I've been writing a lot lately. This is trash and a waste of your time. Go pick up the kids. I mean, if you think you can handle that. Go upstairs. Oh, it's nothing, dear. 